Okay, now let's hop on over to our Vista client workstation. And we want to create our VPN connection. So, Now let's assume that, you know, we're a workstation or a client, a, a laptop that's been taken, um, you know, from our organization or from our workplace and maybe we're in a hotel room halfway around the planet or, you know, just a location far away. The first thing we would do is, you know, connect to the internet via our broadband connection. So if we were in a hotel, you know, we might be using their wireless connection or some type of broadband connection at whatever other place we were at. And then if we needed to connect to our companies or our organization's network, once we connected, you know, to the internet, to broadband and had our physical IPs, we'll create our encrypted tunnel with our virtual IPs. So I would click on the start menu I want to go to connect to. This is one of the easiest ways. You could also right click on my network places and configure it there, but it's probably easiest just to use the wizard. And I want to say set up a connection or network. And I want to say connect to a workplace. Notice my options here. Set up a wireless connection, dial up connection. But in this case, I want to configure a VPN. So I'm going to say connect to workplace. Next. And then in this case, you can dial directly if it's a private telephone line or use my internet connection. I want to set up a VPN because chances are that's, that's how it would be connecting, using broadband. And the only real safe way to do that would be to use an encrypted tunnel. Uh, so in other words, a you know, VPN connection to a VPN server. Um, set up an internet connection worth continuing, and in this case, we'll assume you already have an internet connection. Um, our internet connection is represented by the, the LAN in this example. So what you would need is to get from your administrator or um, you know, your internet service provider, you would need to get the public IP of your company's NAT and VPN server. So in this case, our the, the public side of the IP address would be represented by 192.168.100. 100. And that's going to be, you know, it would probably be a class A, so it might be like 64 or 65 dot something dot something dot something if it were a class A address, but you would need to get that and input that in on the client side so that you could actually contact the public side and get the physical IP address of that VPN server. And we'll just call this Pirates Arg as our connection. And let's go ahead and go here username. Now the account that we enabled, uh, you know, dial and access on is the administrator account. Now in real life you'd never want to do this because that would be a pretty risky thing to dial in with administrative or enterprise admin credentials. But it's okay for this example. What you'd want to do instead is create separate accounts that were configured with permission for remote access. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the password. And if I want I could put the domain here or I could also put it here. And then notice this is grayed out when I do that. So either way. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. And it will try to connect. And then the connection is ready to use. So now if I want to connect, I'm going to click on Start Menu. I'm going to go to Connect. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say, there's my pirates.arg connection. I'm going to connect. Connect to pirates.arg. Here it's asking for my credentials and password. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Now, by default, um, we're not going to create a, an L2TP connection. But we'll look at some of the ports, the virtual port setup. OK, successfully connected to pirates.arg. I'm going to go ahead and click on Close. And then once I do that, notice that I pretty much I only get on here and up a command prompt. Notice that I can ping. Um, so even though I would be connected across the internet in an encrypted tunnel, like through my VPN encrypted connection, um, I have you know access to things in the local area network. And with network address translation and routing set up, I can also go beyond that a little bit. So in this case, I'm actually going out to the internet through my local on the other side of my VPN through that local area network. So it's routing traffic to Yahoo. 
Um, let's let's do this real quick. We'll look at network properties, and I'm going to go to manage network connections. Notice here's my VPN connection right here. And just look at some of the properties. Point-to-point um, -point protocol settings, security, um, require secured password, use a smart card. Um, under networking, the type of VPN, automatic. I can choose PPTP over VPN if I want to explicitly specify using PPTP with MPPE for encryption for older systems or compatibility with older systems. I can uh, specify LTTP with IPSEC if I were to do this, and then I could modify my IPSEC settings. I could use a pre-shared key or a certificate generated by a certificate server for authentication. I'll leave that on automatic. And then sharing whether or not I would allow other users on this computer or workstation to connect uh, using that VPN connection to you know, my network or my organization's network. So just some of the settings there. And I'm going to close this and close this. And we're going to hop on over to our VPN server and look at the connection. Okay, now we've jumped back onto our Windows 2008 server. And we're going to look at our VPN connection. And under ports, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on status, and we can see that here's an active connection for PPTP. Point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, which was selected by default. And this is what's going on on this port. And as you can see, potentially, we could have you know dozens of SSTP, PPTP, and LTTP clients connecting to this one VPN server. Here's our active connection. If I go down to remote access clients here, I can actually see the client that's connected and the account they're using. So it's, you know, the Pirates Administrator, the Administrator account. Um, I could choose to disconnect them if I thought, you know, for some reason there were a security risk or there were a problem. I could reset the connection, refresh. Um, but as you can see, they're, they're, you know, again, on both the client side, on Vista and also on 2008, we've logged in and created that secure encrypted tunnel over PPTP.